Hey everyone, we got some breaking news from Killian Jornet. And he just tweeted out, what the f am I doing running in a track when conditions look so good in the mountains? All right, we've been waiting for this for quite some time. This is, I think, some very exciting news. Killian, of course, is one of the best mountain ultra trail runners in the sport of ultra marathon running. He's won UTMB, Hard Rock many times. He has the one of the best times on Everest and he has been just tearing up the sport for the better part of a decade. Uh, he is going to be doing a 24 hour track run. So in the sport of ultra marathoning, I think one of the gold standards for us here, at least in the United States, is the 100 mile run. It's something that everyone achieves and strives for, I think, as basically the gold standard. Uh, and beyond the 100 mile distance, there's kind of another one that that's out there that really, I think, embodies what ultra marathoning is, which is not just a physical achievement. Uh, yes, of course, running a marathon, even running a 10K really fast is, is a physical feat and, and very impressive. Um, but something happens, I think, at these longer distances when you hit 100 miles, 24 hours, it becomes, it's a mind game. It's a mindset. And it's something that's hard to describe, I think, for people that have never gone that far and have never run that kind of a distance before. So Killian, and this is part of the launch of a new Solomon shoe uh, called the Phantasm. He's going to be doing what they're calling the Phantasm 24 hour. All right, so I am going to watch and give a little, my first reaction to his run video here that was posted announcing the Phantasm 24 on Salman running on Instagram here. So uh, this was the teaser that they posted, I believe yesterday. Really have to log into Instagram just to view posts. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so we are here. Um, we are and this posted yesterday and here's Killian on the track. Let's check it out. And here we go. Okay. It says he never counted the kilometers, always the elevation. Now he wants to see how... I guess he wants to explore different things. Looks like they're panning down to the Phantasm shoes. And there's the track he's gonna be running on. Nice blue track, just like the heli track that we got going on. Okay, so this was coming soon, posted yesterday. And then there's a longer one that they just posted. Let's check this out. So this says, how far can Killian Journey run in flat ground in 24 hours? So you can see why I move here. Mountains, mountains, mountains. It's kind of perfect for me because it's vertical and it's, uh, it's endless of possibilities. Uh, and there I am this year just uh, trying to run on a track uh, for uh, 24 hours. That it's completely the opposite that I would say I like. <laughs> when racing in mountains, it's uh, it's easy for me. I know how to pace myself. I know how to push, how my muscles will react, how my cardio will react. But on flat, it's completely different. Even if it's running the same, it's uh, it's a very different strategy. Here, it's about keeping a pace, and the cardio here it don't work at all. But it's all about the the muscles adaptations. Okay, all right. So Killian is obviously a mountain athlete. That is what he's devoted his life to. And he's gonna be going for something quite different. He's of course an incredible athlete, an incredible runner. So I don't doubt that he can't run well, um, but I think to run well at 24 hours, it does take a certain level of discipline and experience. And so, I don't know, it'll be super interesting. Um, I just made another video about Taggart uh, Van Etten and he, had no experience running 100 miles. In fact, he had never even run an ultra marathon and he just run one of the fastest times in the sport. So what do I know? Um, but honestly, I think this is super exciting. Of course, if you guys don't know, the 24 hour running world record is held by Giannis Kouros. And he ran that back in 1997, 303.56 kilometers, which is north of 188 miles. That's closing in on 200 miles in 24 hours. 
Of course, the ideal place to run a 24 is on a track, so that is naturally what Killian's gonna be doing. Um, they say in here that they don't have an exact date set for this event, but they're gonna be announcing that in the next couple of days. Um, there was an initial uh, report that he was going to do that, I think it was gonna be maybe this weekend, and, or maybe even this last weekend, and it was delayed due to a, an injury. I'm kind of surprised to see uh, him coming back so soon. I guess we'll see if that pans out. Let's watch the rest of this. It's something that I, I'm okay. not good at, but it's always important to find new challenges, I think. Get out of the comfort zone is, is always good. So yeah, they're calling this the Phantasm 24. Um, part of this is, I think, promoting uh, this new road shoe from Solomon. I actually don't know much about the shoe other than I think it might be possibly kind of their new road racing flat. Um, but we'll hopefully find out more about that and this might be their official launch of that event. So we're gonna be checking this out. So anyways, um, we will be sure to keep an eye on Killian and his attempt here at the 24 hour. I'll make sure to make some more videos when we get some more news on what's happening with that. Um, but for now, that's Killian and his attempt at the 24 hour. Comment below, what do you guys think? Do you think Killian's going to make a splash here? Do you think he's going to break Giannis's record? I find that to be uh, a far stretch. I don't think he's gonna do it on his first attempt. I think he'll learn a lot. I hope that he makes it the whole 24 or at least splits a fast 100. That would be pretty exciting to see. Um, but this is this attempt is going to be I don't know if it's a solo attempt or if there's gonna be some other people, but I did forward some information on to Solomon about some of the requirements from the IAU to verify and ratify a record. And I know you have to do it in a competition. So um, who knows, maybe this is just something that they're gonna do. And then, um, I don't know, if he's good at it, I would encourage him to come out to Desert Solstice. It would be really fun to have him out here maybe next year if he's still doing this kind of thing then. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this video and want more of them. And we'll see you in the next one.